Good evening, Dr. Murphy, Dr. Matteo, Board of Education members, and community members. This evening, select staff and students will share specific tools used in our elementary schools in support of the ruler approach to social and emotional learning. To provide you with a quick background of our implementation of the ruler approach, our district first invited Mark Brackett, the founder of the Yale Center for Emotional Intelligence, and author of Permission to Feel to address our staff and parent community. In the fall of 2019, administrators and select staff attended ruler training at Yale and turnkeyed the approach to colleagues. We had a full implementation of the ruler approach this school year at the PK3 schools. At a previous Board of Education meeting, Hubbard School shared an overview of the ruler approach and tools specifically the mood meter. This evening, our goal is to once again provide a quick overview of our commitment to social and emotional learning with a focus on the meta moment and charter. What is RULER? An evidence-based approach for interrogating social and emotional learning in schools. R. Recognizing emotions in self and others. U. Understanding the causes and consequences of emotions. L. Labeling emotions accurately. E. Expressing emotions appropriately. R. Regulating emotions efficiently. Emotions matter. Emotions influence everyday life, including attention, memory, and learning, decision making and judgment, relationship quality, physical and mental health and everyday effectiveness and performance. Research tells us that emotionally intelligent students have greater leadership skills, perform better academically, and are more attentive and become better decision makers. Emotionally intelligent students are less anxious and depressed, less hyperactive, less likely to abuse substances, or to engage in bullying behaviors. Even with the emotionally turbulent year we have all faced, it has been exciting to see how our students and staff have responded to the RULER program. Our children have become more empowered to express themselves using a common language with the mood meter, meta moment, and class charters. We have seen our students become more effective communicators, problem solvers, and cope with their big feelings. The RULER program integrates three tools to use to develop vocabulary and regulate your emotions. What is a charter? A classroom charter is a promise that teachers and students create together for how they want to feel in the classroom, what actions will promote those feelings, and agreed upon actions for how to prevent and manage conflict. Some questions to ask when creating the charter is how do you want to feel and what can we do to achieve these feelings? The next tool is a mood meter, a tool designed to help us recognize and label emotions within ourselves and others. It also helps us develop strategies for regulating these emotions and helps us develop a vocabulary to describe our feelings. In Hubbard's PTO recording, they provide specifics of what the four quadrants are. Some questions to ask are, where are you on the moon meter? What caused you to feel this way? What word best describes your current feeling? How are you expressing this feeling? Given where you plotted yourself, what strategy will you use to get the most out of your day? The last tool is the meta moment. It is a tool that helps us press the pause button. We pause the button between a challenging feeling and our first impulse. The goal is to eliminate the impulsive response. Use your breath to calm your, yourself down, which helps promote clear thoughts. And it also asks, are you being the best self? If you're not, how should you respond to be your best self? The goal of the meta moment is prolonging and managing the space in between an emotional stimulus and a response in order to promote personal well-being in both academic and personal growth. This helps us with building emotion regulation. Now let's hear from our students on how these class charters, meta moments are working in our K through three classrooms in school. 
The classroom charter is an agreement on how we want to feel in our classroom. There are two parts of the charter. The first part is how the class wants to feel. The second part is what we need to do to feel the feelings we put on our charter. Why is the charter important? The charter is important because it gives everyone a say about how they want to feel. Also, if you are feeling unhappy, you can look at it to see on how you can change your actions to feel how you feel. We can use the charter all year long as a reminder of how everyone should act and feel. This is an example of our school charter. The words in the bus window show how we want to feel at school. The sentences in the rainbow explain actions we can take to feel that way. A meta moment is when something happens, like if somebody takes something from you and you get really angry or sad and you like want to get back at them or take it back and yell at them, but you stop and you have to think about what happens and try to think about what your best self would be. Like maybe you could let them have it and then just take it back after, but peacefully or you could tell them that it that it's yours and that you don't like when they take stuff from you. And then you can make it happen all very nicely and calmly without anybody getting into a fight. Tell us, Charlotte, what is the meta moment chart and how do you use it? Um, like when you get angry or something, like your brother hurts you, or like he takes away your toy, um, you could, you could, you're just angry, and then you stop, and then you picture yourself probably in your head that you're actually doing something great, and then you put your um stop, and you put your um anger sign away, and you and you actually and you do what you wanted to do. That was awesome, Charlotte. Do you think you can tell me about some of the strategies you use to calm yourself down when you're feeling really angry? So I stopped and I think that maybe you could color or count to like 10 or like play one of your favorite games. So you do something else to distract you from the anger you're feeling. And you also try counting to 10. What happens when you count to 10? Then you're not so much angry. You're like... <sighs> that was awesome. Thank you so much, Charlotte. You're welcome. Hello, Ramsey Board of Education and Community. Kevin Sabell again, your Supervisor of Wellness and Athletic Director. My segment of this presentation tonight is to discuss how Ramsey is and will implement the ruler approach and how we plan on using this approach at all levels. As you just listened to how the K-5 schools have implemented it, this will lead to implementation of ruler at Smith and up here at the high school. These programs, as I say, build directly off of one another, all levels of students. There's a clear connection between the ruler approach and our district goals. For instance, number one, develop a Ramsey graduate. The competencies, Reflections, sympathy, collaboration are just some of the areas of the Ramsey graduate that directly aligns with the lessons. Two, teach for understanding. The ruler lessons give the students the opportunity to transfer their learning into meaningful and effective ways in life. Three, achieving excellence through diversity. The ruler curriculum leads to lessons of diversity and equity, which in turn leads our students to be both successful in and outside of the classroom. Lastly, for enhancing the student experience. Ramsey is committed to making sure that all students in K-12 get a whole educational experience that includes such lessons as character building and wellness, just to name a few. In conclusion, I'll put my coaching hat on again. For me, I look at Ruler as an athletics program. To me, a successful athletic program has the same fundamentals from the freshman team to the JV team to the varsity team in regards of how they act, how they practice, set plays, discipline, philosophy, etc. Once all said and done, Ramsey will have that with the ruler approach. 
We have started it at our frosh level in K to five, and the principals and teachers are doing a fantastic job, and we're incorporating it into our JV and varsity teams. I thank you for your time. I hope that makes sense, and go Rams.